Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today we are gonna revisit the map known as Death Stairs. That's actually a pretty evil name for a map if you think about it, because there are actually people who fall down the stairs and die. This map does not care about those people. All this map cares about is chucking cars down sets of stairs and completely destroying them like so. Although, I like getting close to the very bottom of the stairs, so to do that, we're gonna get a fast car like the drag version of the Burnside Special, and with this, we should be able to get really close to the bottom. And now, I should mention why I am revisiting this map. About two and a half years ago, I made a part one for this map, and there was supposed to be a part two. I can't really remember what happened, but part two never came about. So instead of trying to make a part two two and a half years later, why I don't even have the original script anymore, I figured it would be easier to revisit the map and make brand new videos that don't rely on the old one because it'll be a lot more coherent. Anyways, here's a look at the damage to this poor innocent Burnside special, and then we're gonna bring it back up here, and I wanna show you just how many ramps and stairs there are on this place. There's a reason this is gonna be a multi-part video series, because I wanna go down every single stairway that is available to me, and I'm probably gonna do most of them multiple times. Because a lot of them, I'll probably want to see a couple of different kinds of vehicles falling down it. And then a bunch of them also have additional ramps you can hit. Like the first one we just did, we have the just jumping off the edge. And then we have the ramp that flings us into the air. And it'll make this first impact much harder. And we probably won't roll down the stairs nearly as much as we were previously. Alright, we are coming to a stop already. The engine is basically completely falling out of this thing. The whole front is just gone. And one thing you might notice in the reflections is there's just like some areas where it's really, really pink. We can fix that. Like it's most noticeable right now on the front left tire. You see how pink it is? So to fix that, it's not too difficult. All we need to do is go into the options and then we scroll down to find the dynamic reflections and we turn the dynamic reflections off. You'll notice everything looks a little bit flatter now, but it's not weirdly pink. So we have another ramp over there, but I want a different car. We're going to go with a fast car again though, so it's the drag version of the Grand Marshal. And with this, it should be very similar to the last one, except even more flying through the air and a harder initial impact. That is assuming we hit it straight enough to not fall off of the edge. It is actually a little bit close to the edge, but we made it. And looking at this thing after it's been crushed, it kind of makes me think of McDonald's. The yellow roll cage with the red car, that's the McDonald's car, man. Anyways, here's a look at the damage. There's one of my tires bouncing all over the place. Anyways, as I was saying, here's the damage. And then we'll go ahead and bring it back up and we're gonna do one more run at these stairs. This is the last run for these stairs. I wanna get to the bottom of them though. And hopefully with this car going this fast, it'll get to the bottom or at least really, really close to it. And this is gonna be a huge impact. So I'm using a little bit of slow motion here just barely missing that first one, but no chance of missing that one. Huge impact. Absolutely demolished this vehicle. And it might go all the way to the bottom. It's actually still bouncing around. Is it trying to make it all the way? Oh, that's even better actually. Trying to get it to stop on the very last step is not something you can easily do, I bet. That just comes down to a lot of luck and it's a cool thing to do and don't worry there will be a lot of crashes where we fall to the very very bottom there won't be a lot though where we get to the very last stair and stop there so next up we have a very shallow set of stairs over here and this one you can just floor it and keep kind of driving for a little bit with this vehicle like we have a little bit of control over it but not really it's still drivable though so we will try to get to the bottom if the vehicle will make it doing a pretty good job it's actually gotten farther than i expected but the rear left axle has broken it's not going to make it any farther so how about we try something different like the d35 chief rancher and with this one it's so long and it has so much ground clearance we could probably make it down to the bottom by just flooring it the whole way and never letting up <laughs> maybe not Maybe not. I see a wheel flying off, but that was just a spare tire. We still have every wheel attached, and I am still flooring it non-stop. And oh my goodness, do you see how much the bed of the truck is flexing compared to the cab? They look like they're barely connected anymore. 
but it's still going. This thing is still trucking its way down as the whole butt of the truck dances for me. This thing is taking an absolute beating, but it is the Chief Rancher. The Chief Rancher does not give up. And I do not give up because I have not stopped flooring it still. I am just flooring it the whole way and it has made it to the bottom. And as I said, we will have many crashes when we get to the very bottom. This will be the first one. And for this one, we're going to use some slow motion because this is a huge crash that's going to happen just like that. So it's really hard to follow it. And ooh, that was a big one. You know the crash is big when the camera freaks out a little bit from the impact. And that's what happened there. We got parts flying everywhere and obviously uh, this thing isn't going to drive anymore. I'll let the parts kind of come to a stop so we can take a look at the remains of the vehicle before we bring it back up. And that was a truck at one time. Let's see if we can tell if the truck if we put it back onto its wheels a little bit. Oh, we can't even put it back onto its wheels because the axle is sticking out at like a 90 degree angle. You really gotta yank that thing. And yeah, that looks like it was a truck at one point in time. Not anymore. Now, we're gonna do this ramp again, but I want the best off-roader there is. So we're getting the crawler version of the Abishu Hopper, and we're gonna try to go down this ramp without damaging the vehicle. I wanna see if that's possible. So we're going a little slower, only about 15 to 20 miles per hour, and it's doing a great job. This suspension is taking every bump nice and easy. So if I wanted to get to the bottom just driving, it can with 100% certainty be done with the hopper. But I have a different question. What happens if we go at it as fast as we can? So this is about 45 miles per hour and just flying right at it. Pretty similar to what we did with the D35 Chief Rancher. And it is doing, was doing a pretty good job. It's bouncing all over the place. But I'm keeping it pretty straight. Oh, now we're done. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Come on. This is actually working surprisingly well. I'm not going to let up on flooring it. We're going to keep flooring it and just let it kind of roll itself back onto its wheels and get back straight. And it can make it flooring it the whole way, even though it was a little bit chaotic. Although maybe we're going to fall off the edge here. I could definitely stop flooring it and make sure we don't, or I could keep flooring it as we bounce in every which direction. I have no idea which way this thing is even going to point. It's just upside down half the time right side up the other time, and it almost made it. It basically made it to the very last one. Like, it looked like it could have just glanced at the slightest amount, but now we got the big impact coming, and I learned my lesson from last time. Instead of letting the camera be itself, we take the camera off, and then we can really watch the crash without the camera jumping all over the place. Wow. Yeah, that's, um, that was a car again. It was. That doesn't look like a car at all anymore. Well, it didn't exactly look like a car in the first place because it was like this off-roading machine that was more of a four-wheel drive vehicle than a car, if that makes any sense to you. But now, yeah, I wouldn't even have known that was a car. Maybe I could tell that it was like some sort of tube frame something. Oh, and the engine still works somehow. Okay, sure, why not? How about we do a new trick? This is called the reverse entry, where we enter a set of stairs going backwards. So this one is a really good set of stairs for making the car bounce and spin. And this is the perfect example of that. It's just kind of hitting every corner. And every time it hits a corner, it spins a little bit more and it's just going faster and faster. And at this point, it's spinning so fast, I can't even tell you which way it's pointing at any second. It's just pointed in every direction all at once. And there is the remains of the vehicle. And this one, it's a little bit more intact because a lot of the speed was scrubbed off as we bounced down the stairs. The really shallow staircase dropped us from a huge height. So now we're gonna change vehicles. We're gonna go with the boss. This should be good. And I got the hero just in case we need to use those thrusters to get up to speed in a small area because I don't really know how much speed we can get with the regular bus and if it'll be enough but with the hero. It'll definitely be enough, but we got to do a really weird maneuver to get it lined up properly. So it's off at about 25 miles per hour, and this is working perfectly. I just love the way it bounces. The front hits it, then the rear, then the front, then the rear, then the front, then the rear. And it's just kind of like it's walking its way down the stairs, and I wish there was even more stairs because that was so amusing to watch. Unfortunately, no more stairs, but we do got the big impact and we're gonna use slow-mo on this And once again, I'm taking the camera off of the bus because this is gonna be a pretty hard impact I think 
So here it goes a hundred times slow-mo. And I don't know if this is going to be the best angle for this after all it kind of rotated a bit, but we have a hundred times slow-mo so we can kind of spin around the bus as it has the impact for this really cool and dramatic camera angle. And pieces of the bus are actually disappearing. That's another one of those, you know it's a big impact when just random pieces of the vehicle disappear. Especially on a stock vehicle. On a real bad mod, that could happen at like 20 miles per hour. That's how you know you have a bad mod. If it happens all the time at low speed impacts. But, but an impact like that, yeah, who knows what's going to happen. That thing's like the width of a piece of paper. So now we'll bring this thing back up. And then we're going to change out the vehicle. We're going to get a pretty normal vehicle. Just like a normal blue buck. This should be a great vehicle for going down this set of stairs. And this will also probably be the last vehicle I do. Because I did a big vehicle. A beefy off-roader. And then a normal vehicle like I want to try to cover all those vehicles maybe not necessarily on every set of ramps but I want to have a good variety of all of those options and once again we're getting that nice little rolling motion going on not quite as fast as it was with the hopper but it's still clearly visible as the frame is being stripped from the body is it gonna fall off oh it's holding on still all right so on impact the thing is either gonna become a ball of metal or the frame is gonna fly off and I have no idea which it's gonna be it is a ball of metal. Actually did not expect that. I was really more expecting it to be they explode. And once again, doesn't look like a car. Just looks like a flaming piece of metal. Go ahead and reset it. And then we're going to do the next set of stairs over here. And we'll keep using the blue buck because it seemed to work perfectly fine on the last set. And this one is pretty similar to the last one we did. But instead of having a really consistent shape to the stairs, this one has a variety of shapes. So it makes it a little bit more random as to what's going to happen it also has some like ramp shapes to it so on this one you really never know what exactly it's going to look like where the last one it's always going to look pretty similar where it does a nice spiraling motion now, i'm using a lot of slow-mo here because it's nice to see the initial deformation of the vehicle but once you get to this damage it's kind of loses its meaning because it already looks wrecked and it just looks wrecked plus plus you know but you really see it bouncing down the stairs once again like, you can really admire the way it kind of just taps it piece by piece. Like, it goes boop right there, which increases the speed. It spins at maybe a little bit, and then it hits the next one. I just really like the way it bounces down a set of stairs. <laughs> it's just mesmerizing to watch. Like, right here, look at how fast it's actually spinning. You couldn't really tell before because there's a little bit of slow-mo going on. But that thing had some speed going to it. There, it's spinning, spinning, spinning. And somehow it's not falling out of the edge. I keep thinking it's going to go outside of the edge, but it has not done that yet. It's making its way all the way to the bottom. And it looks just as ruined as the last time, pretty much. And it hasn't even had the big last crash. You also notice probably that that stairway was a lot longer. The last crash was not that big because that one almost brings us all the way to the bottom, actually. So there's the damage. And then we'll bring it back up. And for the next one, how about we use a big old T-Series? I'm going to even get the dump bed because i might be interesting to watch what the dump bed does as we dump it off the stairs is that a pun is that a pun intended nobody knows not even me and i'm the only one who had no intentions anyways going about 25 miles per hour 30 miles per hour in that range hitting the first impact Ooh, just clearing that stair there it is i see the frame bending and we have actually lost the whole entire cab of the vehicle. Somehow the engine is still attached and so is the hood. I don't know how I managed to get just the cab to fall off, but there goes the hood and the engine is like holding on by a thread. It is pointed the wrong direction. It's been so beat up, but somehow it is holding on. This impact probably gonna get it off. There goes the engine, there goes the frame huge bend to it and look at the way the dump bed is opened up from that impact we have like doubled the length of the vehicle with that impact and well this should be really good to go down the stairs as we kind of like skip down it the question is just will the trailer hold on or will it break with these impacts let's see there goes the trailer the trailer is gone and at this point all we have is the metal frame not the most interesting to look at, so I'm just going to let this thing fall at full speed and it'll get to the bottom when it gets there. What I might try to do when we get to the bottom is find the other parts and see if they made it all the way down. And the nice thing about this stairway and the previous one is, unlike the first one, most of the time the vehicles are going to make it all the way to the bottom. So that, that's just a piece of metal. It doesn't even look like it's a frame of a vehicle really. 
Over here, though, we got the other parts. There's the cab. Kind of looks like it was a cab, maybe. Just been through a crusher or two, that's all. A couple of pieces did vanish, it looks like, maybe, but... That barely could tell us a cab. Over here, we have the dumper. And that that's actually quite reasonable to be able to identify what it used to be. I should also mention, these two stairways are probably my favorite two out of the whole map. So I'm doing a lot of crashes here because these are the best crashes, I think. In the future ones, we probably won't do as many crashes on it, but when you get the best ones in front of you, you gotta do a ton of crashes on them. This one also has a bunch of ramps to enter it. So we're gonna try all of those out. Only one time each though. This one really chucks us into the air and then boom, big initial impact. And just one impact is enough to kind of get that spiraling motion going. And it is spinning fast. There's one of the flat sections. We've hit it a few times, but I never specifically mentioned it. But there are like ramp sections in these stairs. That's another thing. I might call the stairs ramps every now and then because some of them are more like ramps than stairs. If that happens, you know what I mean. Kind of interestingly though, on this one, we are not gonna make it to the bottom, it looks like. Maybe we are? No, we have come to a stop. And not as badly damaged as before, but again, completely wrecked. And, of course, it's on fire. Oh, hey, my tire just came and hit me. What the heck was that? I did not foresee that. All right, new car for the next one. This is gonna be a bolide, just get a nice, fast bolide, and then this ramp is done for. Gonna be going not too fast, only about 45 miles per hour, and we let it roll. I'm kind of an interesting crash on that one. It's rolling sideways a little bit. Uh, now it's doing the more, more average kind of roll that you normally see. I think what happens is when it starts spinning faster and faster, physics just say it's gonna start spinning lengthwise instead of widthwise. And was this ramp really necessary? No, probably not, but I love watching this and I hope you guys do because this is one of those crashes where you can do it all day. Just keep chucking them off the stairs and every crash is its own unique thing and you never know what's going to happen. You don't know if it's going to get to the bottom or not. But this one, you weren't really sure until the very last second, but it made it to the bottom for a relatively light final impact. But again, completely ruined going down the stairs. Although I can't see much because I made a little smoke screen up ahead of it. There we go, there's the damage, and we'll bring it back up. And for the final time on this beautiful stairway, V6 Sport version of the Legrand. Like, I'm really picking the vehicles at random, but I don't want red. The red color doesn't work good because this is a mostly red stairway. I like blue because it gives you a nice contrast of colors. So, final ramp, biggest one we have. Might make it where it's more likely to not make it to the bottom, but it all depends on how it hits. If it hits it right, it'll absolutely make it to the bottom and this one is hitting it right it's doing that nice kind of skipping motion that just allows it to continue going forward after impact after impact i am watching it in slow-mo a bit though because it is enjoyable watching it just make these little touches on the stairs just like that those touches are the things that make it spin and get to the bottom that is a perfect touch perfect touch and maybe another perfect one no, I'm just like barely missing everyone. There we go, another good touch. This is the perfect use of the stairs actually to really get it spinning hard and really get it going all the way to the bottom without a problem. You do notice sometimes it does slow down a bit on the ramp sections instead of the stair sections. But once it hits the stairs, it speeds right back up and it is spinning fast. And it's just barely making its way to the bottom. It fell outside of the stairway on the very last section but it really didn't matter because it wouldn't hit the stairs again anyways and this vehicle the front and rear is just gone the only thing that's left is the cab well that's barely left if i'm being honest with you so now let's go ahead and go to a new set of stairs we can use the drift version of the etki series for this one it really doesn't matter what stairway you use i just like the paint job on this thing it has a real nice paint job on it so here we go straight and head on. It's important you get this one pretty straight because there are no handrails on this one or borders, whatever you want to call it. Like it makes sense to call them handrails because there are stairs and stairs usually surrounded by handrails, right? Whatever you want to call them though, there's no borders. So it's very easy for the vehicle to fall off of the edge, which it's gonna maybe do. No, it's okay actually. 
but it didn't make it to the bottom and I want to make it to the bottom. So we'll go another attempt at this and I'm going to leave that one there so I have a point of reference so I know how far I got last time. Now, I'm not going to use the same car, I just cloned it for convenience. How about we stick to the theme of drift cars though and we'll use the drift version of the Abishu 200BX. And all we got to do here is just get it lined up and floor it and hope for the best. So we're going about 50 miles per hour, maybe about five miles per hour more than the ETKI series, not a huge difference. The biggest difference is gonna be how it flies and how it bounces and we'll see if it manages to get farther or not. I'm liking it so far. A very, very good initial impact. It's staying nice and straight. It's got that spinning motion going, which helps it go down the stairs farther. We have passed up the ETK without a problem, although there are some ETK body panels still on the stairs here and there. And I think we have a chance of making it all the way to the bottom with this. Although it is starting to go to the left. Like, I'm steering to the right. Obviously, that's going to do absolutely nothing. But just in the situation, you feel like you got to do something. It did make it all the way to the bottom, though. Somehow, stayed straight. And now, the big impact. Boom, a little shaking on the camera. Again, that's how you know it's a big impact. Not much change in damage, though, because this thing was already pretty ruined up and at this point we're just gonna let it come to a nice little stop and this is actually kind of neat the rear wheels are still there uh, the front completely ruined i think the roll cage gave it a little bit more support and that's why all right so now for the final one we're gonna take a big fat t-series down that exact same stairway i do not expect this thing to make it all the way down because it's just so big it's probably gonna get crooked on itself but you never know we're going much, much slower, only about 25 miles per hour. And now we wait for that first impact. There we go. We opened up the hood. Everything else is still attached though. I know that whole trailer is gonna explode on any impact. There's an explosion. Piece of the trailer gone, the cab is gone. The engine is just barely holding on it looks like. By an invisible strand. Nope, the engine is actually gone. And uh, we're actually surprisingly straight so far. We got the spiraling motion going, spinning, spinning, spinning. <laughs> Lost as many body panels as we possibly can, it seems like. But it's going to make it to the bottom. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. I promise you there will be a part two. Maybe even a part three. I don't know how many parts it'll take, but we will see every ramp. So until next time, this is YBR. And remember, if you like or dislike this video, I will know. I can tell by how the vehicles bounce down the stairs. So do the right thing. And I'll see you next time.